all right in this video I'll show you a facility provided by max which is called annotation okay so let me get into my max um, now let me open a file okay so now I haven't turned on my annotation mode by default so I'm doing it from the MX prompt there's the annotation mode you need to select that and look at the button it is loaded right now I'm showing it on a small file but think about it if you are looking at a large file what would be the consequences how helpful it will be okay so let me show you so if I select this particular line and if I do control C control A control C control A look at the bottom it is prompting me for the annotation if I write and press enter see it get tags right so if I come here again and if I select this line and again if I do control C and control A control C and control A and if I write see okay so if I come here and do the same thing and again control C control A to add okay so if I write KVM related stuff okay so it is getting that think about it the big if you are looking at a large document you might have select particular portion of the document and try to annotate a specific thing it's a super super helpful right so for instance if you're looking at this document and if you wanted to know what is this config about what the and because you can see the tag the annotation it is attached with for searching the information about the annotation all you have to do control C control S look at the bottom it is look asking you to provide the query if I write config C it is showing you the annotation what we have done recently and it is storing in a file okay it is in my case dot max dot d folder under the file name annotations okay so it is storing this annotation on disk so when if you save this file whenever you called up and if you're searching for the specific tag related annotation to know about it you will get the information there right right under your fingernail okay so it is super handy way to get the information for instance if you want to delete the annotation if you don't need it all you did to control C control D see it's gone okay so you can remove re-add or modify the all you have to do is to go between the uh, go between the annotation you can do control C and left bracket control C and right bracket okay so to move between the annotation all you have to do control C left bracket control C right bracket next and previous right it's a super utility you should if you wanted to know more see as I shown to you create modify and delete with control C control A right and you can load the save top annotation because the annotation file saved on disk so it is very easy right you can remove it by to the point annotation by control C control D I shown to you that control C right bracket and control C left bracket 
to query the annotation, you have to do control C, control S, which I have shown to you, right? There are few two, three commands more, which I haven't tried. You might be looking for specific stuff what I haven't covered yet, okay? But why I'm covering this, I, I think this is a super handy way to get things very quickly. This is a small file. Again, I'm saying if you're looking at a big file, and you probably mark out few places with your explanation or actual explanation, which you refer back later, very easily you can do with this annotation facility. It's a fine utility if you, you should embrace it. Okay. I hope this will be useful to some people. Thanks for watching.